This is the first video of section 7, React on a Server. The last section, we added a new page to the dashboard. In this section, we'll look at React on a Server. And in this first video, we'll expand on what we learned about routing in section 6 and use it on the server side. We'll use React Router to match a URL to a component and use React's render to string to get the page rendered and revived by React on the client. React is primarily a client-side framework for single-page applications. This means that content rendered by the server is usually entirely empty, save for a link to the JavaScript file. However, it can be used to render HTML on the server as well. This helps by delivering HTML before any JavaScript is loaded by the browser, and thus the user will see the content faster. For public applications, it can also help with search engine optimization. In preparation, I've renamed our main.js file to client.js, moved the routes into a separate file in order to share it on the server, and added a not found route and component. Without that, the server will complain when requesting things like the fab icon, which we don't have at the moment. Let's open up the server.js file. We'll remove all the routes that render the index.html file. We want all of that to be handled by React Router and to produce HTML generated by our React components. We're using Express.js as our web server, which provides app.use that we can use as a catch-all and send the URL to our router. We'll import the main pieces from React Router, as well as our routes and React Server renderer. We'll then call router.run with our routes, a location, and a callback. The callback receives any potential errors and the props related to the route. We can then call render to string with the router and the props. This will render the component matching the route from our routes file. We then call rest.render, rest is the express.js object received in the app.use callback. It stands for response. We pass it an index ejs file and the HTML content. Let's create the index ejs file. By default, Express.js looks for templates in a views folder. So we'll create that and move our old index.html file into there and rename it to ejs. We'll also install ejs, which stands for Embedded JavaScript. It's a template system which allows us to output our HTML content. We'll also need to remember to import React since JSX calls are transpiled into react.create element and we're using that to render the component on line 23. We can quickly modify our index.ejs file to output the HTML content. Restart our server and refresh the browser. And now we see the HTML being returned by the server. In this video, we learned how to use React and React Router on the server. In the next video, we'll see how we can augment this by also rendering the order rows with data on the server.